So, alhamdulillah, all praises be to God. And I further cemented my pathway towards generational wealth. February 10th, 2021 was a monumental day for me and my family. I became a homeowner again, y'all. Let me explain how it went down, man. How this, how I got to owning another home. It started back, I want to say like March 2020, talking to my loan officer. We devised a plan and a strategy on how to get into a home. Tony advised me to go through credit repair, get rid of some of those inquiries, get rid of some of any collections you may have, anything like that that's adversely affecting your credit score. So boom, did that, jumped all over that. My credit score peaked at 682, and that's what was able to get me an approval on this loan. And then I just started hustling, man. I really, really, really raised my work ethic. Multiple entrepreneurial efforts, starting with naturalleadersmedia.com, where we provide video production services for businesses, brands, artists, etc. I also was Ubering, doing Uber Eats, doing Uber, talking about close to 40 hours a week, man, putting a lot of wear and tear on my vehicle. Well, I am also a salesman for Puka Pure and Simple, selling handmade bath and body products for my cousin, Dawn Fitch. So you're talking about somebody like myself. I get it out the mud. I've gotten it out the mud. Nobody has given me nada. You understand what I'm saying? With all of that combined, I was able to put together my down payment, put together my earnest money deposit, appraisal, homeowner's insurance, a lot of costs come at you. For FHA purchase, the down payment is generally three and a half percent of the purchase price. My house appraised for 254,000, which is actually the sales price as well. My down payment was $8,890. You know, I'm sharing all this info not to brag at all, but with the intention of inspiring people to go for it. Like, like you could do it. So what I found is actually easier to obtain a mortgage than it is to obtain an apartment. And especially some of these higher end apartments where they run background checks and everything else. But a lot of us are scared to purchase or to even go for it. I mean, go for it. The most thing, worst thing that can happen is you get turned down. You know what I mean? But the best thing that hap can happen is You'll obtain a home that your family can grow in. The game is real. Let me tell you, it was definitely a struggle. Definitely, definitely a struggle. The struggle was real. Plenty of times I went before. I sacrificed time with my family. I questioned my faith at times. And I didn't let Satan's whispers take me off course. I definitely want to give big, big ups and special thanks to the creator, of course, to my mom. My mom is definitely a fighter, so keep that, keep sending them prayers up for her, for Emily Fitch. My sis, my sister definitely kept me on my bike. My Aunt Helen, she held me down last minute, y'all. It's coming up a little short with the funds. My Aunt Helen, you know, sent that wire. Big ups to my cousin Dawn again for, for, for picking her up and taking her to the bank. My family made it happen. Two of my closest friends, Rob Q. Doc Boone kept me on my bike. Called them guys time and time again, man. Stressing out over life, finances, relationships, etc. Man, these guys are my been my biggest sounding board. They keep me encouraged. Special thanks to Tony Rogers. I mean, this, this guy is actually a good friend of mine. And he's all and he's a better loan officer. This guy will get you to the closing table. All right, period. Tony Rogers of Goldwater Bank. My realtor, Jane Piven with EXP Realty, aggressive. She got the job done. She double, triple checked, quadruple checked with me on certain things. She was just doing her job and she did it well. And lastly, but not least, is attorney Kimberly May, who is closing attorney, but she's also a partner, guys. Black woman, you know, powerful woman doing her thing, was able to take some time out. She was very patient, professional, and fast. I had us in and out of there, man, probably within less than 40 minutes. So big ups to Kimberly Mays with Lauder, Larkin, and Hunter. Today is a great day, closing day. Uh, house out here in Georgia. My great loan officer and friend, Tony Rogers. Goldwater Bank and the corner is my realtor, hey. Jane. It's the realtor. So, you need a house, you need a great realtor, great loan officer, great attorney's office. This is the place to go for your real estate clothes. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.